What is cracking guys, JP here again, bringing you another update of my 90 gallon reef tank. Now this tank is doing pretty good, beside the blue green chrome is lost, or the one old one and the blind one. Um, everything is doing pretty good. I actually added a Tomini tang or flame tang, flame back tang, got a white tail on it, it's looking pretty good. It was on quarantine for about two months and so tiny compared to my blue green chromis. Look at that, it's like the same size as the blue, blue green chromis. So that's how you know these blue green chromis are pretty huge. And getting old, getting there, as you can see. Really, really nice, it color. It's been a week now and it looks like it's liking this spot. Uh, my royal grandma is like surprised that he, uh, there's a competition on aggressiveness because this guy don't push, he, he doesn't push, get pushed around. If someone's by, uh, tried to sh uh, scare it around, man, he'll fight back. So yeah, that's uh, Royal Grandma really like, uh, nope. But yeah, the first day or two, the Royal Grandma was like, was like opening its mouth, trying to scare the fish uh, Tomini Tang away from the cave. But I think it learned to accept that the Tomini Tang is the boss now, so yeah. No ick, no problems, no velvet, um, nothing. Uh, when I did transfer it last week, I did it with hand and there was some slime that came out, uh, like slime coat came out, but looks like it recovered and looks like it's the Tomini Tang is darkening up and getting a little bit some size, so hopefully It'll be one of the centerpieces of this reef tank. Yeah. So this fish is basically a herbivore and will try to eat as much of the algae uh, where snails can't get to. But it's just also the white tail and the, uh, once it gets older and bigger, it's this bo the body is going to get a lot darker and then the orange is going to be more pronounced and the white will be more pronounced. And it stays pretty small compared to other tang. So yeah, it's almost the same size, uh, the length of my firefish. That's how you know my firefish is huge. It's kind of crazy. So it's so tiny, it's such a baby. But it's already full of uh, <coughs> aggressiveness. It doesn't push around. As you can see, it's almost the same size as my Bangai Cardinal. Actually, my banger is bigger. But yeah, blue green chromis is literally the size of a blue green chromis. Crazy. So, this is an Amela Halide uh, 10K with actinic lighting, T5s, and it's very, very nice, crisp white blue. Like, um, the colors of the fish really pop out. So, you can really see this is like diving in a shallow water where everything is nice and crisp wiped there is no like no problems in color color rendering all the spectrum you really see a lot of people have the blue light and you can't really appreciate of the colors of the fish of how nice they are looking. So yeah, tank stays about 76, 76 uh, Fahrenheit, 77. So not, no heat issues. I'm not running any chillers also. So yeah. All right, let's go for the corals. Coral-wise, everything is growing. I do have some hair algae uh, popping up around here and there. So hopefully my Tomini Tang will eat these. Uh, why I'm having some algae is because I bought a new house and I'm working on the house nonstop every day. So uh, this tank has been kind of getting neglected a little bit, but I've been just wiping the glass once a week or so and uh, I look around to see if there's any like bubble algae or any kind. I did remove a big bubble algae in the mill right there, but now it's not coming back. So, oh, I still see something on the side there. So I 
could still come back in there and clean it out yeah before it spreads um, torch wise looking pretty good Ophelia's happy My Pocillopora eduxi is uh, plating out. Some very, very nice colors here. My red planet is finally be, uh, encrusting, which is nice. I see a lot of polyps. My Acropora robusta is branching out. My Walt Disney is Branching out also, looking pretty nice. Uh, yellow parietes, looking pretty nice. Uh, big success story is my Acropora humilis. It looks like there's a lot more polyps now, so that's a good thing. Uh, it stopped STNing on the bottom, so that's good. My Miyagi Tort is encrusting, which is nice. Right there, the little stick. Uh, my pink lemonade back there, there's a little nub. It's growing pretty nice. There's a little nub right there. Acropora Valley Green Slimer is branching out nicely. You can kind of see that little uh, white spot of from the Acropora humilis. So hopefully it will like that spot more. So yeah. This guy is getting big. It started to send some stingers. So I don't know if I need to move the this chalice. This Miami Hurricane chalice. I might move it somewhere. yeah I got I actually realized this is an OG Miami Vice you don't really see the red much but it's a Miami Vice I believe uh, my bird's nest uh, man it's getting lots of branches so it's growing I need to start to cut some out my this is my greens bird's nest orange green tip uh, this is a hyacinth Bird's nest, I thought it was a pink from RA, but I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> it looks like a hyacinth to me. That's okay. And here's the uh, pink green tip bird's nest. So it looks like there's a lot more branches. My lantana. Uh, Acropora spatulata. This guy is growing nuts. It's a, I think it's a blue tenuous. You can see the blue tips, but yeah. Looking very, very nice. So hopefully once I get the house going and done, finished, put the electrical, I'll start moving it maybe in the next couple months I don't know we'll see hopefully uh, it's gonna be a big challenge it's only like 10 minutes away anyway but it's still a big challenge because I don't want to cause any major you know disaster and such since I got all of these corals already established and stabilized so yeah Yeah, what I'm trying to go for is like a shallow reef tank, like you go snorkeling, 10K metal halide with actinics, really sharp, bright, crisp white. Yeah. I need more blue green chromis, I feel like. <laughs>
The sad thing is the blue green chromis. I feel like they got caught on like cyanide, so they might have some cyanide poisoning. That's why a lot of blue green chromis don't make it, and they get your uronema, and then they don't transport well. And if one, even if you got through quarantine for blue green chromis, they might die from the cyanide, you know, uh, side effects afterwards. So yeah, my. Couple of my new blue green chromis, they're not doing too well. They're just kind of. I'm, I'm not sure if they're feeling the cyanide or, but I think there's three that's doing okay, and then there's like two that's just hiding all the time. So I'm not sure, but it's not getting bullied. But it's also not interested in eating, so I'm not sure if there's something going on. Yeah, this fish right here, this blue green chromis, it always likes to stay in this spot. I'm not sure. Look, it's healthy. It's not skinny. It's not getting bullied. It just likes to in that spot. Maybe he just likes that spot. I'm not sure. But ah, like I said, it's not eating. So there's some weird appetite issue going on. Uh, like I said, all my blue green chromis is over here. There is, I, every, every day I look at the tank, it's not getting bullied, so I'm not sure what's going on with that fish, probably from the cyanide. So yeah, unless you get a fish from like Australia, then you don't, you don't, you really don't know how the fish are caught, if it's like by net, or is it by cyanide, or something, or bread, uh, captive bread, unless you, it states, it states captive bread, so, um, uh, Well, that's for update guys, thanks for watching, and see you on the next update. Adios.